Throughout history, every authoritarian system has sought to disarm its serfs. And the same thing is happening here in the United States. There are only a couple countries where people can own guns. And in every case, governments have used school shootings in England, in Australia, in New Zealand to restrict and then finally ban guns. And Obama and his controllers have said in the last few months he may use an executive order to physically ban all semi-autos. And the ATF is attempting to ban most shotguns right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is outside of congressional law. They're trying to do this. And within minutes of the shooting beginning in Connecticut this morning, when they didn't even know if anybody was dead, they were on the news. The state-run media saying, time to get rid of the Second Amendment. You see, they're desperate. Courts have been ruling there is a Second Amendment. People have been buying guns by the millions a month. All these women's magazines, liberal magazines, show women buying guns and getting into protecting themselves. The state doesn't want you to protect yourself. They want you scared. The state wants a monopoly of force. The United Nations is calling for banning guns worldwide, and they're about to have a treaty come up in March. So Obama is moving forward with this, and they're using every tragedy to go after our Second Amendment. Mexico has a total gun ban for the citizens. And the last three years, more than 55,000 people have been killed by guns because only the drug cartels and the criminal government has the guns. The highest crime rates in this country are in Chicago and New York with total gun bans. Connecticut is the fourth highest gun control state in the union. Very hard to get a gun. You're never going to stop psychopaths from going and doing bad things. You notice that it was the police that came with guns to stop the guy. I thought guns were causing the crimes, like fat people uh, are becoming obese because of spoons, not because of their bad behavior. Are we going to ban dogs because Michael Vick uh, used pit bulls? Are we going to punish all dog owners? No, you punish people when they do wrong things. And we do have a lot of degenerate psychopaths in this country, and that's why we have a Second Amendment. Bob Costas came out and said men 20 to 30 shouldn't be able to own guns, saying all men are criminal and bad. What an incredible statement of discrimination against men by another man. The establishment is a crime syndicate, and they want you disarmed. Just like bank robbers, when they come in a bank, say, hands up to the guard, give me your gun. Or when people come in your house to rob you, they tie you up and say, where are the guns? It's simple. We have a predatory, out-of-control group. Now, I played this clip earlier, but I want to play more of the clip of Obama in the worst acting job I've ever seen. The guy that shipped the guns into Mexico to kill thousands, including children, with Fast and Furious. The guy predator droning sometimes 200 innocent people to get one, quote, terrorist, they claim. The guy launching wars everywhere, and NDAA, and extending Patriot Acts, and, 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 and internment camps, and the new army manuals. I mean, a total globalist fake crying over children, doing his Oprah Winfrey bit. They are coming for the guns, and they're, they're saying you're a member of the Klan, like the Fox Sports writer, if you don't turn your guns in. Folks, it was the Klan that got the first gun laws passed. They are making it the new civil right to turn your gun in. Uh, so being a slave is your new right. Here is part of the disgusting fake pausing and the fake crying, and no one is calling this guy on it. He's really crying because his foreign banker masters haven't been able to disarm the American people, and these control freaks hate it. Here it is. Here is Obama's clip. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. Totally fake. Look at this fake pause. Learn that from Oprah? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They had their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings. Oh, look at this. Talk about, talk about fake, and it just goes on and on. This is the guy that got the funding reinstated for basically forced abortions in Africa. He's probably, if he really was able to summon tears, too bad we can't get all the babies killed before they're out of the womb. I mean, this is incredible. And the fake crying goes on and on. Let's go over some of the news articles now that are at Infowars.com because these are so incredibly important. And do what you'll do is you'll edit this, okay? Okay. Look at this at Infowars.com. Gun grabbers call for murder of NRA president supporters in wake of mass shooting. 
all over the place. They already said, the Fox Sports guy said, you know, they're all the Klan. Obama wipes away fake tears. Nemo's written about it. We posted the video there. 2012, doomsday secrets revealed. Special report breaking down how that's a hoax. Celebrities demand outrageous gun control laws following Connecticut shooting, even though they all have armed guards and bodyguards. I've been out to Hollywood a lot, folks. Some of the biggest stars' houses, believe me, they're armed. Michael Moore calls for strict gun control after school massacre. This is the incredible exploitation of these tragedies, not letting a good crisis go to waste. Let me show you some more of these articles right here. Go, go look at these. Notice, that's, that's men with guns coming to stop the guy that had the gun. And hours later, hundreds of SWAT teams grandstanding showing up. They're reporting multiple shooters there, just like the police said Sirhan Sirhan didn't ever hit RFK and it was CIA shot him in the back. Look, that's even Communist News Network telling you that. Look at this. Knife-wielding man injures 22 children in China. And it said part of an epidemic of ch children being attacked at school by men with knives. They've banned guns there, but in Japan and China, massive deaths. I've seen cases of more than 15 kids killed in these schools by men with knives. Going to ban knives? Actually, they're talking about it in England. Look at this. Uh, MSNBC's Alex Wagner, get rid of the Second Amendment. And she even goes ahead and says, we've now got the political capital. Let's ban the Second Amendment. It goes on and on. Salon coming out and saying, it's time to take the guns. And oh, just like we told you, inmate James Holmes told me he was programmed to kill by evil therapists. Turned out he was in a government mind control program. You can't make this stuff up. Murder under hypnosis. The James Holmes story takes a familiar turn. Turns out Discovery Channel and History Channel are doing special reports on mind control. And now the CIA says they're training their people to have other personalities to where they don't know the passcode. They have to be given a code word to then release the passcode. That's mind control. They create an alternate personality. Look at this. This is a real science. They've been caught doing it over and over again. That's why we bring this up. James Holmes behaving like Sirhan Sirhan. Dark Knight shooting to be exploited for political grist. Discovery Channel documentary proves mind control assassin conspiracy. Now, there's new articles out this week about the Pentagon and all of this. Attorneys for RFK convinced killer Sirhan uh, pushed second gunman argument. Again, they're saying that's what's happening. Attorneys for RFK, uh, convicted killer Sirhan, push second gunman argument. All of this. Look at this. CIA torturing and sodomizing innocent uh, citizens, black sites, torture sites, uh, torturing children at these sites, the medical experiments on children that have been done, killing thousands of them. Of course, the government would stage a shooting like this. I don't know if they staged this one, but the same familiar telltale signs are now coming out. And I want to take you in here real quick. Let's go in here. I forgot to show you this. We told you right here. In the issue of the magazine, the December issue, this man wants your guns, and they are coming after your guns. We told you this was happening. We told you they've blown the bugle. They're coming. He says he'll use executive orders to take it, to make us like Mexico, a narco-terrorist state run by the mafia government with the citizens disarmed. 1776 started when the Redcoats came to take our guns. Texas independence in 1836 came when Santa Ana came to take our guns. It isn't happening, you offshore New World Order bankers. You know the gun culture starting to kick your butt, so you're panicking. Well, let me tell you something. You're not going to win and you're not going to succeed. Everybody, this is an illegitimate criminal government that probably staged this event, but undoubtedly they're going to exploit it. So get out there and warn everyone you know. We need guns to protect ourselves from criminals, crazy people, and this corrupt foreign occupational government. I'm Alex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com, and if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. They've taken the guns from everybody else worldwide. Now the globalists are trying to conquer us. Us.